Glória a Jesus. Só damos a todos. We greet all with the peace of Jesus. In reference to the word, let's stand up, please. The New Testament, Matthew. Matthew 25. Matthew 25, verse 6. And then we're going to go to Revelations 19. Then we're going to go to Revelations later. Matthew 25, chapter 6. And then we're going to go to Revelation 19, verse 7, and verse 7 and verse 8. So let's go to Matthew first, Matthew 25. Verse 6. And at midnight. And at midnight, a cry was heard. Behold, the bridge dog is coming to the meet him. Behold, the bridge groom is coming. Go out to meet him. And now we go to Revelation 19, verse 7. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has made her self ready repeating for the marriage of the lamb has come and his wife has made herself ready glory to Jesus verse 9 revelation right Ble right right what the Holy Spirit is saying Jesus is coming back. And you are a goodwill. You're fortunate because he prepared himself for this. Right. Blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true saying of God. We adore you, Lord, for this moment, for delivered that your word can be blessed. We pray in the name of Jesus, amen. Please be seated. The word says a, a moment. It was close to midnight. And this word has a meaning. And midnight talks about darkness. Prophetically, it's the way the church is living right now. This moment, this, this moment right now, the word says that a feast, a, a marriage ceremony, a wedding ceremony, with a, with a, talks about the. He was talking about two parts. The first part of the marriage was when the groom, he met the, the, he met the, and it was a, and, and they used to do a, it was a, a contract. The both families would do a, a contract. And that time, the contract, they had to pay. They had to pay a dow. It could be money, it could be lambs. 
So back then, in the marriage, both families would do a dao, and then the contract was signed. The son. The man will go back to his house. And then he would, he would build a, another room for her, for her future wife. And when it was ready, so the father of that kid would give, give the order to his son to go back and go and, and, and to enjoy the room with his future wife. Jesus talks about something nice. I'm going to the father to, to get a place to live. That's the promise that Jesus made. And to make this promise was made a path, a pact. A price was paid. It was not paid with, with gold and silver. It was paid was paid with his own life, the price of blood. So Jesus, so for you to sleep with your future wife, the groom is Jesus. So he paid a high price for his, for his future wife. And when the price is your own life, it shows a great love. It shows the great love of God for, for my life, for all of our lives. So Jesus made a path. He died on the cross to get a wife. And all, in, in the moment of the of the the marriage, of the wedding, the, f the father of the groom, he was responsible. The father was responsible to prepare the the ceremony. The father would, you would pay for all the all the expenses for everything that the the invitees would would eat and drink. This represents the church. The father has provided everything in our days. And Psalm says says that the Lord is my sheep and nothing. We'll lack. God will provide everything for us. Nothing. We're not going to lack anything. He will give us all the resources for the lives. The dresses of salvation that will speak with us, that will alert us for the prophetic moment that we're living in. The word says that, that we heard that in that ceremony. In the Galilee, they heard a, a shout, and that shout, that plea was a awakening. Why did they have to shout to plea? They, why did they have to alert in that moment? Because every, because everybody was suffering. That's the moment that people were not being noticed. And the people were not attentive to that moment. It was the main moment of the ceremony. It's the best moment of that ceremony. And the word says that someone shouted. Next to midnight, they said they, they heard a shout. He is the groom. The Holy Spirit has alerted us in this prophetic moment that we live in. The moment of the the meeting 
with the groom and the fiance, with the moment of the moment that the Jesus meets the church, and the word says that in those days there were there were ten virgins, ten women, ten young women that were separated, they were selected. And when you talk about separation, selection, they talk about sanctification. So ten young ladies were separated, selected, chosen. They were elected. They were called. They were awakened. They, they, they had a, a, an agreement with those ten virgins so all of them could participate. And when you talk about number ten, It talks about all when they talk about ten. So the salvation is for all. The project of God is for all. The sacrifice of Jesus is for all. The price that he paid in the cross is for all. All were called. Because God because God does not do any exceptions to the people. But the word says in that day, next to midnight, there were some people that were not prepared for that. And the problem was on the, on the, on the oil that was missing because the lamp everybody had All the dresses everybody had, but in the moment of the ceremony, the oil was missing. The oil was responsible for the fire, and the fire was that lid was responsible to identify. Without oil, there was no fire, and there was no and, and no fire. People could not see their faces. So the 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 fiancés that were invited that, that was paid a price for each one of them. They needed to be identified. And the identification was through the lamp. And to have fire, they had to have oil. And the word says that, that Jesus says, you can be, be baptized with the Holy Spirit and the fire. So the identification of, of the church is the fire and the Holy Spirit. If there's no identification, this, the church, the faithful church, will not participate. And those who are called to, to the church, to the faithful church, it's not a denomination. The faithful church, all the tribes, people, language, and nations, the church of Jesus Christ, it's not a race. It's, it's for all races, for all tribes and for all nations. And the word says that five of them, five of those fiancés were not ready, those virgins. But at that moment there was awakening. At this moment that we're living, is a, that it's an awakening call. It's awakening. The Holy Spirit is awakening. It's alerting us for this moment that we're living. And the word says that those ladies were, were getting ready. But they have not noticed for the, holy, for the spiritual condition that they're living. The Bible says, the Bible says that examine yourself. And sometimes we don't examine ourselves. How's my life before the Lord? This analysis was missing. And there's a verse that says, Approach me and you will know my heart. Prove me and you know my heart. And guide me to a right, a right path. 
and the word says that the, the ladies were alerted. But, but you can't awake, you can be alerted and not be ready. And five of those vir ten virgins did not have oils in their lamp. So <coughs> the presence of the Holy Spirit was not in their lives. And the word says that and then they went out. They noticed that they they noticed that the, what what they had was not sufficient to go to the ceremony. Ceremony. It was not enough to be going with the groom. It, and it's alert. What we have is not enough. The time of work in this. If you have 25, 40 years, it's not enough to be in the church. It's not enough to be to be safe. Read the Bible is necessary, but it's not enough. Be baptized with the Holy Spirit. It's necessary, but it's not it's not sufficient. If you have a spiritual gift, it's necessary, but it's not sufficient. Jesus speaks about an interesting. Jesus says, I'm with you every day. If Jesus is not with you every day in your life, it's not sufficient. The virgins had identification. The fiancés had the identification. We have an identification. We are Christians. We are from Maranatha. We are from different churches. But that's not this identification that's going to make us to go to the eternity. The eternity that's going to make us go to the eternity, it is if the Holy Spirit is with us, upon us. And the Word says that. They went to meet Him. But you cannot go meet someone or meet just just by going. You have to be prepared. You, your lights have to be lit. When the people from Israel left Egypt, they were prepared. They had blood and, and the, on the board of the doors. They had everything prepared. The church is being prepared at this moment to go meet. And the word says that the virgins, they were prepared. When the groom arrived, they, they entered in the ceremony. And when they entered, and when they entered to go to the ceremony, The door closed. The door is the door of the grace, is the door of salvation. Jesus opened the door so we can go in, enter in the eternity. My reign is not from this world. I'm going to the Father. Wherever I am, I want you to be. That's the, that's the wish of God and the groom. But the ones that were not prepared, they stay out of the ceremony. And when they wanted to enter, when they say, Lord, Lord, open the door, open the door. <coughs> Someone from the other side would answer. Interesting that he uses the words Lord that the Jesus himself says 
Not all the people that says, Lord, Lord, will enter in the reign of the God, but those who, who, do, who, those who do my will. And at that prophetic moment, for those, all those virgins had the, the, the desire of God that all the virgins were prepared, but not of them were prepared. Prepare Israel to meet the God. So when the door was closed, the Lord said, I don't know you. Because they didn't have the oil. Because they were in the darkness. And at the night, in the darkness, you cannot identify anyone. And the other verse that we read in Revelations, talks about what was behind the door on the other side talks about where those five virgins that, that the place that they went to and says that It says, be glad and rejoice and give him glory. Those who entered, those five virgins that went there, they were, they were rejoicing. They, they were glad to be participating on that ceremony because the Lord prepared them for that moment. Because the fiancé had prepared. The church was prepared. They waited. They prepared themselves. They are waking themselves for that prophetic moment. And that's the, the desire of the Lord for our lives at this moment. So we can be awakened for this moment. So we can be ready for the church to be ready, prepared. And the word says that, right. The word's right. We used people. We used to uh, use an expression. We use an expression, and back in the days, I'm gonna give you a car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a job. Write what I'm saying. Be sure that that's gonna happen. And and when the Lord says write, says you can write because that's gonna be that's gonna that's gonna happen. But the words of the Lord will not pass. So right, it's going to be established. You know what happened? It was written. It was written, and it's written. That's in the Bible. It's right here. The servant wrote because he was certain of the moment that he was living. He was thinking, and he saw the result of that ceremony. He was present there because he was prepared for that moment. The Lord said, right. Blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb and said, is that? Amen.
Amen. You wrote, write it. Rate on the on the table. Blessed are those who call to the marriage supper of the Lamb. If you're here tonight, because you are called, you call to the supper. You are you are blessed. Write this. Because those are the truly words for you tonight. We are, we are just finished singing a, a song from heaven. Because this song came from the eternity. The Lord showed a woman that she's been coming to the church. She, she's been enjoying it coming. She's been uh, identifying herself with it. She likes the service, the songs, everything's okay. But, uh, but that only it's not sufficient. Yesterday, the Lord, uh, the Lord said, what, "What would I give to the Lord for the benefits you give it to me?" That's what the. That's what the Lord that's to give him. It doesn't it doesn't work if you come, you 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 enjoy, you cry, you sing if you don't give yourself to the Lord. To, to give. You give your path to the Lord. Trust him. That's the desire of the Lord, for you to give him yourself to him. Because you're going to be blessed. You're just being called for this moment to participate in the supper of the Lamb. And there's another gift, vision, that the Lord showed a man that uh, he was coming in, running. Running to take a place in a on a on an airplane that was going. And because of the time, because he thought he, he was health, he was gonna time. So he couldn't make that normal path to the airport. So he thought he had time for it. But he saw that the plane was already it was already taken off, so he jumped. He jumped off, so he was running, and he was just rushing. So he was trying to get on the airplane as the airplane was taxiing away, and then the man, and the man, there was a security man asking for identification, and he and he was. And it was shown that that his identification passport it was expired for him to. So he could not board on the airplane. And it was necessary for him to renew that document. That was old. It was it, it wouldn't it, it expired. So he needed to issue a new document. Yes, that's the vision. The, show, the Lord is showing a man that had experience with God, accepted Jesus in his life. Maybe he was even baptized with the Holy Spirit. This this history of uh, saved once, saved always? No. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The way, the way is for you to, to walk. If you stop, if I stop in Holland, if I go to Miami, if I stop in Holland, I'll never get to Miami. Salvation, it's a continuation. 
it's a it's a way to be to be taken so this man had this experience with the lord and and he lo he saved this identification he saved his his identification by saying he was christian he's from he's from maranatha and he thinks with that identification he can go to eternity so the lord awakened him for this moment so he thought he was ready sometimes you have to run you have to rush yourself but you have to prepare yourself you can't run you can't rush if you're not ready if you're not prepared and the Lord show here that the documents was expired the fact that Lord did with your life you let expired you need to renew it but tonight the Lord is giving you another opportunity another opportunity for you to renew it for you to be renewed renew your commitment with God a pact, a covenant. Yeah, a pact. A pact with the Lord. If you do that, it's guaranteed for you. It's the Lord saying to you, your place to have is, is guaranteed. The Bible says that, that the fiancé was ready, was prepared. Because the fiancé was ready. It says, let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has made herself ready. So you... The, the, yeah. And the word said that it, her, it was granted to be arrayed in a fine linen, clean and bright, for the, for the fine linen is the rational acts of the sense. It's not a pastor. It's not a man. But it's the precious blood of Jesus. The children sang a song. And the, the, the children sang it. It talks about the train, the express. It's our passport is Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus. It's the presence of the Holy Spirit upon my yours about our lives let's stand up please because one more one more night lord you gave us opportunity to be here in your house lord to render our songs our gratitude for everything that you have done for us for everything that you are lord because you are living God, a God of power, a God that operates marvelous among the church. Because we can see the things you have done each day. We praise the Lord. Because there's a people that prepare to meet you face to face. We adore you, Lord. Because you, you visit your church every time we come to your place, O oh Lord. You are the one that visits us profoundly. You're the one that loves us in an unconditional love. It's the one that reveals everything that knows the profound, the deep in our hearts. We thank you, Lord, for each heart that you brought here tonight. We know that we're not here for for any case but because you brought us here to your house it was your good spirit Lord that conduct us conduct everything for us to be here tonight to praise your name Lord there's nothing there's nothing nothing sufficient to thank you because the bigger price you pay for us which was given your only son to die on the cross for us this love that cannot be compared. That's why we thank you, Lord, and ask you, Lord, please continue with us. Never leave us. Never let us. Go, let, let us. Never leave us. 
Never let us move away from your presence. There is not a place better this, better than this place than to be in your presence. That to be dependent on you, Lord, because you have the best for all of us. That's why we thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done and for everything that you will do for us because we know that you have much more for us, for those who seek you in spirit and in truth. We thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We adore you. We bless your name. Praise your name for us to be with you in the eternity, Lord. For the moment of awakening, Lord, we want to adore you, want to bless your name, glorify that was a pour, a pour on the Holy Spirit for all the benefit that you have provided us. And we ask you, Lord, that you this week you can continue to keep us, deliver us from uh, any bad things, or sickness, accidents, violence. Deliver us from all that. And visit us with your Holy Spirit, preparing us to be with you in the eternity. Receive the songs, adoration. We offer you in the name of Jesus and the saints' name. In your name we say the marvelous grace of our Savior, our good and Father, the, the sweet consolations of the Holy Spirit be upon us for now and forever. Please be seated. Please. We have ended our service. You, our brethren, that would like to have a prayer, if you are like to, have, if you had any doubts and like to know more, please raise your hands. We'll, we'll have uh, assistance. We'll have someone pray for you. We we'll have a service next next Tuesday by Zoom. It's a it's a Bible school on Tuesday night. On Wednesday, we we'll have a service in the Zoom with the ladies. And Thursday, it's the word, it's the worldwide day of uh, prayers. It's uh, it's the day that all the members of the church for to pray for all the motives that was. So we pass around all the motives that have been. Uh, but Thursday, you're gonna reserve 15 minutes to your time. Any time you want. 15 minutes. You're going to present those motives those, so God can give you a blessing for us, for our countries, and for all the countries in the world. The moment that the Lord desires that for us to be united in prayers and, uh, and plea for, for those motives that were revealed Thursday. We'll have a service probably by the zoo. And in the weekends, some of the, some of our brethren will go to Boston. Saturday, Sunday at 10.30, and Sunday night at 7.30. Amen. We are in a consecration from zero to nine, fasting in the, in the motives of the month for the families. Amen. To all the peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord to you, Cameron. Peace of the Lord, my man. Peace of the Lord, Steve. Peace of the Lord.